They start before dawn. Fishermen in the city of Beira need to be out on the water all day to make it worth their while. Let's go! Joao Davrio learned his trade from his father. He grew up in the fishing community of Praia Nova. Today, he heads up the local fishing cooperative and knows just where to get the best catch. Bring it in, bring it in. But times are hard. There are fewer fish now. Often their nets come up empty. The sea itself, though, is their biggest worry. Every year, storm tides inundate their homes. They destroy our boats, our houses, entire villages. We need to leave, but where can we go? There's nowhere. Then there are the cyclones. The last one covered our houses in 10 meters of water. 10 meters. For the port city of Beira and its fishing industry, the sea is a vital source of income. But every November, when the cyclone season starts, it becomes dangerous. So the city is investing in green infrastructure designed to absorb the destructive force of the floodwaters. Over the last five years, Beira has begun to restore the natural watercourses and basins. Mangroves have been planted along the banks, flanked by large parks. The big green park at the center, covering 44 hectares of land, is now almost complete. City Mayor Abano Karic has come to inspect the work. The gardeners need to trim this area again. It's dried out a bit. These green areas are designed to absorb the floodwaters like a sponge, holding back the worst from the city. Beira has become a pioneer in green infrastructure on the African continent. We need to think about how we can continue living in this city, how we can cope with the challenge of climate change without creating even more problems for the city. We need to act decisively and sustainably and develop a sustainable lifestyle for our city so that Beira will be safer and more prosperous and more attractive to businesses. But it means the fishing community has to move. Praia Nova is located in a former mangrove swamp, which will now be replanted. Residents are being asked to move to camps on the edge of the city, like this one in Mandruzi, far away from the sea. Former fisherman Leandro Mungua lost his home and his boat to Cyclone Idai in 2019, so he moved here voluntarily. He now lives from farming and is building his own house. I would never go back. No one wants to return to that way of life because it's difficult and dangerous. It's like fighting a war, not against armed men, but against water. And water is not an easy opponent. Our future is here, but not if we fold our arms. We have to work hard. The city authorities offered him and 200 other fishermen small plots of land each on which to farm and build a home. It's an area that's safe from flooding and suitable for growing rice. But not everyone shares Mungwa's optimism. The house of his neighbor, Bernardo Matello, was flattened by powerful winds. Matello would rather sell fish like he used to, but that's not an option here. We can't afford to travel to the sea and buy fish to sell it here. No one could make a living that way. So we're growing rice instead, but the soil is depleted. This year we had a lot of rice, but because the rains failed, everything is withered. During a visit to a residential area on the coast, Mayor Karij appeals for support for his plans. Wave breakers are to be built in the sea here. Protecting the city from future floods is his top priority, and he takes every opportunity to persuade local people of the need for change. 
He believes projects like the Green Park and the relocation of Praia Nova are vital for the city's future. And he's hoping local residents will support him. We need to use all our knowledge and expertise to pull this city out of the swamp. That's why we're organizing big projects and paying out money, because we want to govern better and serve the people better. All with the goal of ensuring that tomorrow we're no longer on the list of cities most threatened by climate change. On the other side of the bay, the fishermen continue working at Praia Nova. At the moment, relocation to the camps is voluntary. Many realize that it's too dangerous to stay here long term. But João de Rio and his colleagues find it hard to believe they would make good farmers. I don't think moving to the camps is the answer, whether Ndama or Rio Maria. There's no point. Why not protect the coast from erosion and we stay here and continue to fish for a living as the fishing cooperative of Praia Nova? Finding a safe place to live that is both close enough to the water and affordable is certainly not realistic otherwise.